Hello and welcome back. In today's video I designed and 3D printed a gear for my RC truck because the old one was stripped. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so the first thing I had to do was take the RC truck apart to get to the stripped gear. This is the strip gear. As you can see, on the upper gear on the right side, the teeth are completely sheared off. I first had to calculate the module of the gears by measuring the distance between the axis of the two gears and the number of teeth on each gear. Then I could take two times the distance between the axis and divide that by the sum of the number of teeth on the gears. This is just one way to find the module. I used this method between two different sets of gears and got 0.63 repeating the first time and 0.58 the second time, averaging to around 0.6 mod. Another way to find the module of a gear is to take the diameter of a single gear and divide that by 2 plus the number of teeth. I got 0.6 mod, which confirmed my results from the first method. Next, using the information I collected at the last stage, I modeled the strip gear in Fusion 360 using the spur gear function. Unfortunately, I only screen shared the tab with my workspace when I was recording this, so you cannot see me input the information into the tab with the spur gear function to generate the gear. Here, you can see I uploaded an image of the strip gear into my workspace so I can check to make sure the teeth line up. After calibrating the image and rotating it slightly, you can see my model is just like the real gear. After this, I uploaded an STL of my model into Cura and sliced it using 100% infill, 0.2mm layer height, and a skirt adhesion support. Then, I printed it on my Anycubic Cobra Neo in about 17 minutes. When it was finished, I set the original gear next to it to check the scale. Unfortunately, half of the upper gear was deformed due to a printing error, as you can see. In addition to that, I did not make the hole big enough for the rod the gear spins on. For my second attempt, I made the center hole larger and messed with a few of the slicer settings. However, you can still see that the back side of the upper gear is deformed. On my third attempt, I enlarged the center hole even more, used a rim for bed adhesion, and extended all the teeth 0.1mm using the press pull function in Fusion, but the effect was the same if not worse. Finally, on my last attempt, I re-leveled the printer, adjusted the z-axis, and rotated the design 180 degrees on the bed to make sure it was not a design flaw, but the gear was still deformed in the same spot, indicating it's printing or slicing error. The gear was good enough, so I just decided to go ahead and put it in. You can see here that the gear spins freely without excess resistance or stripping. It even withstands quick forward and reverse jerking motions. All that's left now is putting the truck back together and testing it out. Here you can see my four failed attempts in the original next to the fixed truck. It works. 
Thanks for watching and have a nice day.